We have to find both second order derivative as well as the first order derivative and substitute in this equation and show that the value is equal to 0. Derivative of e power x is e power x only but here we have e power 2x so that's why 2x has to be derived. The first function is x Second function is y1. When you differentiate dy by dx, what you will get? d square y by dx square. So that is why when you differentiate y1, here you will get y2. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is your Shruti Ma'am with the Ashram School of Excellence, Mysuru. So we are in the last session of the chapter Continuity and Differentiability. Here we are going to study about the second order derivative. So we have already learned how to derive a function. So if f dash of exists or dy by dx exists, then we will find out the second order derivatives also. So let us solve the second order derivatives of few function. So our first question is, if y is equal to 3 cos of log x plus 4 sin of log x, prove that x square y2 plus x y1 plus y is equal to 0. So I have already told you the second order derivative can be denoted using different symbol. One, it may be denoted using d square y by dx square or sometimes it can be written in the form of y2 or Sometimes it can be written in the form of y double dash. Similarly, the first order derivative that is dy by dx can be written as y1 or y dash. So the function is denoted by y. Usually y is equal to f of x. So here a function is given in the form of y is equal to f of x. We have to find out the derivative that is both y2 and y1. We have to find both second order derivative as well as the first order derivative and substitute in this equation and show that the value is equal to 0. So let us find out now. Now here we have y. So let me take y1 because the equation has y1. y1 is nothing but dy by dx. So we are deriving this for the first time. Now since this is a composite function, you know how to derive the composite functions already. We have taken and solved many types of functions and here is one of the composite function. So since 3 is constant with the function, we will just write 3 as it is. What is cos of log x? Cos of any function. Derivative of cos is minus sign. So this can be written as minus sine of log x. But log x is one more function. So what is the derivative of log x? It is 1 by x. Plus we have 4 sine of log x. 4 is the constant and sine of log x. Derivative of sine is cos. So this becomes cos of log x. And here we have log x. Again derivative of log x is 1 by x. So now we have got this. So here 1 by x is common factor in both the terms here. So for that or to remove x what I will do here, I will multiply x throughout the equation. So when I multiply x throughout the equation what happens here? So this becomes x into y1 is equal to minus 3 sine of log x and x into x. So here cancels. When you multiply x here, x and x get cancelled and here also we can remove x. So this is now 4 cos of log x. Now let us derive it again. But in the left hand side you have two functions. One is x, another one is dy by dx. I have already told you y1 is nothing but dy by dx. So let us differentiate using the product rule. The first function is x. Second function is y1. When you differentiate dy by dx, what you will get? d square y by dx square. So that is why when you differentiate y1, here you will get y2. And next is second function that is y1. When you differentiate x, you will get 1. Next we have minus 3, which we can take as a constant. When you differentiate sine of log x, you will get cos of log x into 1 by x again because cos of log x again log x differentiation is 1 by x. Again you have here 4. What is cos of log x? It is minus sine of log x. What is the derivative of log x? 
1 by x. So again we have 1 by x, 1 by x. So let me remove here x in the denominator. So to, re to remove x in the denominator, let me multiply x again. So when you multiply x again, x into x. So here we have multiplied x. Here once again we are going to multiply x. x into x is x square y2 plus x y1 is equal to. Here you have minus and here also you have minus. Take it as constant. When you take minus as constant, you will get 3 cos log x. Since we have removed x by multiplying it, so here we get 4 sin of log x. What is this 3 cos of log x plus 4 sin of log x? It is nothing but y. So in the place of this term, just replace it by y. So we get x square y2 plus x y1 is equal to minus y. Shift minus y here. So what happens? x square y2 plus x y1 plus y is equal to 0. So this is how you are going to prove certain equations containing the second order derivative. So this is a 5 mark question which may be asked in your examination. So let us see few more problems. Second one, if y is equal to 3 e power 2x plus 2 e power 3x, prove that d square y by dx square minus 5 into dy by dx plus 6y is equal to 0. So the equation can be given in any form. It may be given in y1, y2 or y dash, y double dash or like this d square y by dx square and containing dy by dx. So any type of equations can be given. Just find the second order and first order, substitute in the equation and prove the result. Now here I need dy by dx as well as d square y by dx square. And here is the equation. We know what is y here. So let us find dy by dx. So dy by dx. So 3 is a constant. Derivative of e power x is e power x only. But here we have e power 2x. So that's why 2x has to be derived. So what is derivative of 2x? It is 2. Because derivative of x is 1. So 2 into 1 is 2. And similarly here we get 2 into e power 3x into 3. Because derivative of 3x is 3. Now multiply here this becomes 6 e power 2x plus 6 e power 3x. Now this is dy by dx. So this is the equation we got. Let's find out d square y by dx square. So that is you have to derive this equation. 6 is a constant e power 2x means e power 2x into 2 plus next we have 6 e power 3x is 3. So in general when you have e power ax you can write its derivative as a into e power ax in general. So any function in the form of ax is given in the exponential the derivative can be directly written as a into e power ax. So now again here when you multiply you will get 12 e power 2x plus 6 3s are 18 e power 3x. Now what is this d square y dx square? So we have got d square y by dx square, dy by dx and y. Substitute in the equation. So here this is the left hand side. So I will take this in the form of LHS. So LHS is d square y by dx square. minus 5 into dy by dx plus 6y. We have to show that the result is equal to 0. So now what is d square y by dx square? It is 12 e power 2x plus 18 e power 3x. Next minus 5. What is dy by dx? We have 6 e power 2x plus 6 e power 3x plus 6 into what is y we have y is 3 e power 2x plus 2 e power 3x. So multiply the equations given here then we will get it as that is LHS. So here we have 12 e power 2x plus 18 e power 3x minus 
So we get 5 in the both terms. So 30 e power 2x minus 30 e power 3x. Because we have 5, 6 and 6. Next we have 6 3s are, 6 12s are. So here we get plus 18 e power 2x minus 12 e power 3x. So see here 12 e power 2x minus 30 e power 2x is minus 18. Minus 18 plus 18 get cancelled. So we can cancel these three terms. Similarly, we can cancel these three terms. 18 minus 30 is minus 12, minus 12 and this is plus 12 which becomes 0. So, which is equal to RHS. So, what we will conclude? Hence, proved. So, all 5 marks question will be basically asked from only second order derivative. This is very easy kind of problems where you can trust this as one of the important question for your examination. Next one, if y is equal to tan inverse x of whole square, prove that x square plus 1 whole square y2 plus 2x into x square plus 1 y1 is equal to 2. Again here y2 means d square y by dx square, y1 means dy by dx. So now let us see here what is y1 y1 is nothing but dy by dx. When you have any function in terms of square or cube, first reduce it into a polynomial form. So whenever we have x power n, we will write its derivative in the form of n into x to the power n minus 1. So therefore here this becomes tan inverse x whole square become 2 tan inverse x. Now derive the tan inverse x. What is the derivative of tan inverse x? It is 1 divided by 1 plus x square. Now here what I will do here, I will shift 1 plus x square to the left hand side. Then the equation becomes 1 plus x square y1 is equal to 2 tan inverse x. Now let me differentiate it again. On your left hand side, you have two function. One is 1 plus x square another one is y1. So, let us apply the product rule. So, the first function is 1 plus x square as it is first function into derivative of second y1 when you derive you will get y2 plus second function y1 derivative of 1 plus x square derivative of 1 is 0 because it is constant and derivative of x square is 2x. Now, it is done here 2 is constant and what is the derivative of tan inverse x? It is 1 divided by 1 plus x square. Again I will shift this 1 plus x square towards left hand side. Multiply 1 plus x square into 1 plus x square becomes 1 plus x square whole square y2 plus 2x. When you multiply 1 plus x square here also it becomes 2x. 1 plus x square into y1 is equal to 2. So clearly we have proved the result or you can interchange the term 1 plus x square as x square plus 1 whole square y2 plus here we have 2x into x square plus 1 y1 is equal to 2. So which is 1 and the same. So hence we have proved the given equation. Next one if y is equal to a into e power mx plus b e to the power nx show that d square y by dx square minus m plus n dy by dx plus m and y is equal to 0. So this is same as in the case of second problem we have done but this is the general case here the value given in the form of m and n and a and b are constants. So let us derive it again now here it becomes dy by dx a is constant. I already told you whenever you have e power ax form its derivative can be written as a into e power ax. So therefore here we have e power mx. So I can directly write it as m into e power mx. And here b e power nx means n into e power nx. So now dy by dx is equal to so here it becomes m a e power mx plus n b e power nx. Now let us derive it again d square y by dx square. 
So now m a is constant. Derivative of e power m x is m e power m x plus n b e power n x is n e power n x. So therefore, d square y by d x square can be written as m square a e power m x plus n square b e power n x. Now we have found dy by dx, d square y by dx square and we have y also. Let me substitute in the given equation. So LHS, LHS is d square y by dx square minus m plus n dy by dx plus mn. We have to show that the result is 0. So mn into y. Now here d square y by dx square we got it as m square a into e power mx plus n square b into e power nx. Now here we have minus m plus n. So dy by dx is m a e power mx n b e power nx. So m a e power mx plus n b e power nx. Next here we have plus m n y. y is a e power mx plus b e power nx. Now let us multiply and solve here m square a e power mx plus n square b e power nx. So here we have minus, I can write it as minus m into m become m square e mx minus mn b e power nx. Next we have minus mn a e power mx minus n square b e power nx. And here plus mn a e power mx plus mn b e power nx. See here m square e power mx minus m square e power nx cancel n square b e power nx minus n square b e power nx get cancelled. Similarly mn b e power mx plus mn b e power nx minus mn a power e mx mn a e power mx both get cancels here. So the value is equal to 0 which is equal to RHS. Hence we have proved the result. Next one if y is equal to sin inverse x prove that 1 minus x square d square y by dx square minus x into dy by dx is equal to 0. So here clearly we have y as sin inverse x. So let us write dy by dx. What is the derivative of sin inverse x? It is 1 over root of 1 minus x square. Now let me shift towards right hand side. So then it becomes root of 1 minus x square into dy by dx is equal to 1. So now let us differentiate it again. So differentiate it again. First function is this. Second function is this. So first function is root of 1 minus x square into derive dy by dx what happens it becomes d square y by dx square plus second function dy by dx into derivative of root of x. I have already told you derivative of root x when y is equal to root x dy by dx will be in the form of 1 by 2 root x. Now we have root of x form. So I can directly write the derivative of this in the form of 1 by 2 root 1 minus x square. But inside the square root we have 1 minus x square also. So therefore when you derive 1 minus x square derivative of 1 is 0 because it is a constant and we have minus so let me write minus derivative of x square becomes 2x. Now it is finished. So first function derivative of second plus second function derivative of the first function and here on the right hand side since the value is 1 it becomes 0. Now clearly you can see 2 and 2 get cancels. Now in the denominator we have root of 1 minus x square. So what I will do here multiply root of 1 minus x square throughout. 
So both on left hand side and right hand side you have to multiply root of 1 minus x square. So when you multiply root of 1 minus x square what happens? Root of 1 minus x square root of 1 minus x square when you have two roots that is when you have root x into root x the value is x. So therefore you can directly write this as 1 minus x square into d square y by dx square. Next here we have minus here minus into plus is minus and when you multiply root of 1 minus x square to the second term root of 1 minus x square root of 1 minus x square cancels here we have x so we get x into dy by dx is equal to root of 1 minus x square into 0 is 0 hence we have proved the result which is required. So 1 minus x square d square y by dx square minus x into dy by dx is equal to 0 here. So just to remove the square root of 1 minus x square in the denominator when you multiply it you will get the required result. Next question if e power y x plus 1 is equal to 1 prove that d square y by dx square is equal to dy by dx whole square. So we have e power y x plus 1 is equal to 1 now. So here we have two functions on the left hand side. So let me apply the product rule. Derive it. First function into derivative of second. Derivative of x is 1 plus 1 becomes 0 plus. Now here we have x plus 1 now derive e power y. What is derivative of e power x? It is e power x. Similarly, what is derivative of e power y? It is e power y. But since y is derivating with respect to x, we have to write dy by dx. And on the right hand side, it is 0. Now here, shift towards this side. So here it becomes x plus 1 e power y dy by dx is equal to when you shift e power y that side it becomes minus e power y. Now we can cancel e power y e power y on both sides. So we get x plus 1 into dy by dx is equal to minus 1 or dy by dx is equal to minus 1 divided by x plus 1. So this is what dy by dx. Now here take this as equation 1 and take this as equation 2. Now differentiate equation 1 again. So again differentiating one. So what is our equation 1? It is x plus 1 into dy by dx. So we have two functions. One is x plus 1, another one is dy by dx. Apply the product rule. First function into derivative of second. So first function is x plus 1, derivative of dy by dx is d square y by dx square plus second function is dy by dx and first function is x plus 1, write the derivative it becomes 1. So which is equal to on the right hand side you have minus 1 which is constant so this becomes 0 now. Now here we have x plus 1 d square y by dx square. So this I will shift towards that side. It becomes minus dy by dx. Next I will shift x plus 1 towards this side. So d square y by dx square is equal to I can write this as minus 1 by x plus 1 into dy by dx. So consider this. See here dy by dx is nothing but minus 1 by x plus 1. So from 2 instead of minus 1 by x plus 1 I can write it as dy by dx. So therefore here d square y by dx square is dy by dx into dy by dx. So therefore d square y by dx square is equal to dy by dx whole square. Hence we have proved. So this is from 2. 
So in the place of this, you can write dy by dx. Remember, this is the second order derivative. This is the square of first order derivative. Do not make confuse with d square y by dx square with dy by dx whole square. They are not one and the same. So here, since their value are equal, we have written they are equal. So d square y by dx square is a second order derivative, whereas dy by dx whole square is a first order derivative which is repeated two times. So thus, these are all the kind of problems from the second order derivative, which is important for five marks question for your examination. We'll meet you in the next session. Until then, keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.